big game coming up. What do you see out of the group today and how they're encountering this game? Good. It was our normal minus one match day preparation. We look, we believe in our process. We believe in our team. You know, we just need to get a couple of good results going our way. Things will start changing, but you know, we're going to show specific film of the last game that we played against Portland up here at home. Learn from that. We obviously saw what happened with Atlanta. I mean, we have enough film. We've played them already once. The guys have to go out and, you know, we got to make some plays. Emmanuel uh, Sashini was practicing out here. Has his visa status been his fixed? His visa status is solved. <laughs> yeah. uh, who was not seen out here. Uh, where's, what's his situation? That is something that I'm dealing with internally. Uh, what about, uh, just generally speaking, uh, stopping Portland's counterattack? Uh, what have you told the team about uh, how to shut that down as that's been kind of an Achilles heel? Uh? We have been, we have been, we call it active defending. So as we are attacking, as we keep possession of the ball, we actively get close to Valeri, to Fernandez, to Blanco, to guys that start their transition moments. Uh, we've messaged that all year. It's part of you know, the team defensive philosophy. Again, we just need to make sure we execute those, those things. We'll show them on film. We'll give specific roles to specific players as to who's in charge of guys in this area of the field. And, you know, the flip side of that is we actually want to put pressure on them. So, you know, as we, as we talk about defending and stopping their transition, best way to stop their transition is to score a couple goals and then we'll dictate what happens. Offensively, uh, Christian talked about how frustrated he was with maybe how slow the team was playing against L.A. Uh, as far as Portland's concerned, uh, what have you told the team about trying to get out on the front foot, maybe getting behind them a little bit more? Yeah. I mean, again, you guys go back to the L.A. game. Raul scores that second goal. We're not having these conversations. Sometimes it gets hard to play against 10 men. I would, I would counsel you guys to remember the LAFC game here at home when Christian actually got, you know, he got it refuted. But, you know, we played down a man and we were able to, you know, control large parts of that game. We ended up with a draw. So sometimes when you go play up a man, it's not as easy as people think. We certainly should have won that game. And playing slow is part of the reason. But I can also say that, you know, when you have less pressure, then the ball should move faster. And that's something sometimes that players have a challenging time. If they have more time and space on the ball, they want to wait a little bit, see if another pass opens up, a better pass opens up, instead of just letting the ball go. And then those decisions come naturally based on the flow of the game. Rodriguez get to, get to get very physical. How do you uh, manage that line between having personality and strength and not going over that line? Look, again, I don't think Gio coaches his team. I don't coach my team to go out and have an uh, alley fight. We want to actually have a soccer game that, that plays out. What happened last time was, you know, something that we'll mention, but it's not something that we are going to you know, sit there and say, okay, we're going to go down there and start punching them in the face and blah, blah, blah. We want to play hard. We want to play fair. We always want to try and play the f same way. Uh, Coach, what does this rivalry mean to you personally? <laughs> well, after my last answer, I can answer that one by saying, I hope we frickin' kill them. <laughs> uh, have you uh, seen uh, Giovanni Savarese with like starting to get his own style? Can you like, th does that help you? The fact that you're starting to get to know the way he plays or? No, I, look, I mean, Gio started, you know, his tenure here trying to press higher up the field. Now he's kind of let some of the senior players dictate how, you know, they drop off and they're good in the counter just by their ability. I mean, all good coaches have their own style or they, you know, Take, and take a look and see who's on the roster and make adjustments accordingly. I mean, he's done a, he's done a good job there. I, I give him a lot of credit. Not to be overlooked is if you guys win and chance to win back-to-back -back Cascadia Cups, is that something that you can use as extra motivation for now? I don't know if I need, based on what happened in the last game up here, um, yes, Cascadia Cup, I'll make mention of that. There, there's so many things. It's rivalry week around the whole league. Everybody was watching games last night, the drama. You know, I, I think the players all get it. I'm not going to have to say too much. 
Uh, uh, Victor Rodriguez, uh, what's his status? It, it, he has not been in training out here no, this week. He's on a separate uh, training program. We'll probably give you guys more of a heads up next week. He should be out on the field next week.